Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Welcome back, nursing students, to another episode of Pharmacology in Practice. Today, we're exploring two different types of medications, including muscle relaxants and osteoporosis treatments. So let's start with muscle relaxants. These guys are a group of medications used to decrease muscle spasms, even pain, and discomfort associated with various conditions. One commonly prescribed muscle relaxant is cyclobenzaprine, brand name Flexeril. This medication works by blocking transmission of pain signals and reducing muscle spasms to provide relief for conditions like back pain, neck pain, even muscle strains. Another muscle relaxant is carisoberdol, brand name Soma, which acts on the central nervous system, basically the brain's spinal cord, to produce sedation and muscle relaxation. It's often used to treat acute musculoskeletal pain and even discomfort. Next is dantrolene, brand name Dantrium. This guy works by interfering the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. What is that? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That's just fancy words for things inside the muscle fibers to reduce muscle contraction and spasticity. So let's dive into a patient case study using cyclobenzaprine for back pain. Let's meet John, a 45-year-old patient who visited his primary care physician complaining of severe back pain after lifting heavy boxes at work. Upon examination, John's doctor suspects a muscle strain and recommends cyclobenzaprine, brand name Flexeril, all to help relieve the muscle spasms and associated pain. John has prescribed a 10-day course of cyclobenzaprine with instructions to take the medication three times a day with food. The doctor warns him about the potential effects, such as drowsiness, dizziness, and even dry mouth. So after a few days of taking cyclobenzaprine, John reports significant relief to his back pain. This scenario perfectly illustrates the use of cyclobenzaprine, which I call cyclobaxaprine, because it's used to treat back pain, and even muscle spasms. Simply think of a tornado or a cyclone on the back, and that's how you know how it's treated. So this muscle relaxant is used to manage acute musculoskeletal pain and those muscle spasms, while highlighting the importance of proper dosing, patient education, and monitoring those potential side effects. Next, let's discuss medications used in the treatment of osteoporosis, which I call osteoporosis. It basically makes brittle bones and makes the bones like Swiss cheese look. There's a lot of holes with a lot of pores. Technically, this is a condition characterized by low bone mass or low bone density, and increased risk of fractures. One common medication is calcium carbonate, a supplement that provides essential mineral calcium, which is crucial for maintaining bone strength and bone density. Fancy words for thicker bones. Another class of osteoporosis medication includes biphosphonates, such as alendronate, brand name Fosamax, and resdronate, brand name Actinil. These medications work by inhibiting bone reabsorption, basically the process by which the bone is broken down, thereby increasing bone mass and strength, while also reducing the risk of fractures. Now let's dive into a case study. Meet Sarah, a 68-year-old woman who's recently diagnosed with osteoporosis after a routine bone density scan revealed low bone mass. Sarah's doctor recommends starting her on alendronate, a once-weekly biphosphonate medication to help strengthen her bones and reduce the risk of fractures. Doctor explains the importance of taking this alendronate on an empty stomach. That one is huge at least 30 minutes before consuming any food or any other medications. Sarah is also advised to remain upright for at least 30 minutes after taking the medication to ensure proper absorption. The potential side effects such as GI discomfort and rare conditions known as osteonecrosis of the jaw are completely discussed with Sarah. And Sarah is instructed to report any concerning symptoms immediately. Also, regular follow-up visits are scheduled to monitor Sarah's bone density, assess her response to the medication, and discuss any additional lifestyle modifications or even supplementation needed to support her bone health. This scenario perfectly demonstrates the use of alendronate, a biphosphonate medication, in the treatment of osteoporosis. Remember, osteoporosis those brittle bones, with emphasis on proper administration, proper monitoring, and patient education to ensure safe and effective use. So in this video, we've explored two types of medications, muscle relaxants used to relieve muscle spasms and pain, and osteoporosis treatment, aimed at increasing bone mass and reducing the risk of fractures. By connecting these pharmacological concepts with relatable patient case studies, we hope you better understand and remember the indications, mechanism of action, and clinical applications of these medications, as well as the importance of proper dosing, administration, 
and monitoring. Remember, nursing students, understanding pharmacology is crucial for providing safe and effective care for your future patients. So stay tuned for more pharmacology and practice videos, where we'll continue to bring pharmacology to life through engaging patient scenarios. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.